So we're at the Unify booth with Andrew, Meme Day. Yes. This video might be a little bit more technical. This guy. This guy. And I'll let Andrew talk about this new little cool product. So this guy's called the Fury. It's basically a little micro drone, ready to go out of the box. So if you want to fly around your house or your backyard or something like that, it comes with a drone, all these adjustable cool LEDs, obviously the best part. And we got the radio over here, uh, which controls said drone as well as has an FPV screen uh, that you can fly it with. So we also have packs of batteries that you can buy separately. Uh, they basically clip in and out. You don't need to do any plugs or anything awkward like that. Quite tough. They all. And tell me about uh, a little bit more about the technical stuff regarding this uh, this quad. So. So basically, in terms of the power system for this, we were going to go with something a bit higher on the 2 or 3S side of things. But things just got too complicated and we wanted to simplify down to, basically we're using here a 1S system, 1S 600 milliamp batteries, uh, as you can see here. We have custom ESCs internally, as well as 0804 motors running 2.5 inch props, tri-blades. Obviously, it's a standard mounting pattern, so you can use any types of props on here that you want, 2.5 inch or smaller. Um, and then we're also running a 600 TV line camera there. We've got the wide angle in there, but you can choose uh, what angle of camera. Running a 25 milliwatt VTX, 5.8 gigahertz standard. We've got all the race bands, etc., etc. We also have some cool stuff on the bottom. That is a flow sensor and there's a range sensor in there. So this can actually do position hold over like your carpet or your gra the grass outside or something like that. So you can put the remote down and it's going to sit there uh, without having to have GPS or anything like that. And now tell them what's, what software does it run? Uh, so this one right now is running Betaflight, uh, but we're also augmenting it for various other flight uh, patterns. So with the flow sensor and range sensor, we can add things like position hold, altitude hold. Um, but most of the time it's Betaflight because, you know, race quad, he's got to have Betaflight. So if you're a beginner who never flown a quad, this is also great because it's all pre-programmed to be extremely easy to fly. And if you're an advanced pilot, like most of, I hope, are watching this video, you will have a lot of fun with this. And I heard that maybe one day we'll be able to only buy this. Correct. With a very, uh, uh, another type of um, rece uh, uh, receiver, right? Yes, so it's, it's a 2.4 receiver um, that we have, we've designed ourselves basically be able to use with this remote and it's a very small receiver. S-Bus? Uh, yes, S-Bus. So we, we could, we will be able to have only buy this and control our tiny whoop and have something yeah. come back for our small quad. Exactly, or vice versa. So for this unit here, we actually have a JR module that hooks into the back of Tyrannus. Oh, Some of these yes. guys are flying it with That's Tyrannus. true. Yeah. So you can hook basically our radio link. And what type of accessory does it come with? I see prop guards. Correct. So in our pre-order package is basically the drone with the prop guards and the remote. Uh, if you want the charge bank and extra batteries, that is extra on top of that, uh, and will be available Thank later. You. Uh, and, and talk about um, price or um, avail availability. Okay, sure. So during CES uh, 2018, it's 289 for pre-order for basically the drone plus remote. Uh, after CES yeah, okay. is over, it's going to go up to 389 dollars US uh, for the kit. Um, we're looking to ship around April uh, and then basically be available full time uh, past that. Great. Did we miss something? Uh, no, I think went over the tech specs. Cool LEDs. All the LEDs are fully addressable, so you can do all your custom patterns, uh, custom alarms, etc. Uh, any indicators oh, that you need to do. It has OSD too, right? Oh, so yeah. If you can see it here. This is not the, this one identically, but basically we have full OSD. There's a lot of people transmitting at this event, so there's a lot of overlay. But basically we have voltage, current, uh, and all, all the other types of adaptable things. You can change and set up everything. As well as full OSD control, so you can actually change VTX channel okay. through OSD. Um, you can change to the PIDs or your rates. Wow, through exactly OSD. all the good stuff of better flight. Exactly. And what about the buttons on the back? Uh, basically, this is your arm button, so click once to arm, click once to disarm. Uh, left button is for mode, so you can switch between modes with that. Uh, on the front, you can do uh, different video channels uh, by clicking the right one. That's going to be upgraded with a yep. proper OSD, so it tells you what channel, etc. Uh, and then this one actually switches the LED color at the moment, but again, all programmable. Okay. 
And then power button, obviously. And this uh, ring of color is programmable. You plug USB, you program within this? Uh, we'll have software that will okay. program all the LEDs both on this and on this. Um, so you can set up any custom pattern or colors that you want. Great. UV Phi CS 2018. Thank you very much. No problem.